it wasn't just my family, but it was like my church leaders. At the time, they were like, "Well, you know, you either get you get it's either you have the baby, you get married to this guy that I barely knew, or I give my child up for adoption." And as you know, as Pacific Islanders, we don't like adopting your child outside of your family is a very like taboo topic. Like you know, you don't do that. Like, you can give it to like your cousin or your sister or your or your grandma. But we don't just like randomly put up our kids up to go live with some, you know, Balangi person in I don't know New York, you know, um, and so I didn't want to give up my kid. I was like, all right, well, I'll marry him. So we got married, and it we both got married to each other for different reasons. I think for me, I got married because I wanted my child to be raised with their father in their life. And because of his immigration status, if we didn't get married, he would have to go back home to his uh, to his country. So I was like, okay, well, if we get married, then, you know, maybe we can figure this out, you know, raise a family. Um, but that didn't, that didn't happen. And he ended up becoming uh, very physically and emotionally abusive when we were married. And we ended up getting a divorce um, about a year later, after, you know, we first got together. So I do think that a lot of girls, because I know other girls in my community that were told the same thing, like either you get married or you give your child up for adoption, you know? And for me, it was never, it was never an option for me to just give away my kid. Um, so I do think the discussion needs to be had because I feel like, that like you know like how most of you said like marriage is a huge decision and I currently have a niece who's going through the same situation and there are so many people in our family who are like well you know you go over to the guy's house you know might as well marry him and I'm like no don't tell her that like 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 you know they barely know like she's she's seven I think she's 19 years old you know but that I get married you know you you basically have a kid together and I tell her no don't don't get married you know, if 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 things work out and, you know, you guys get together, you guys, you know, can make it work and your relationship's not toxic, then yeah, you know, get married. But you don't need to get married, you know, because I, I don't think people realize this, but it's it's a lot easier to get married than it is to get divorced. Like me and my ex-husband, we were, we were married for maybe a year and it took like almost the same amount of time to get a divorce. You know, we and at that point, like you know, we were we weren't together for so long, so we didn't really have you know a lot of things in our name that most couples do. But still, though, it it it's hard. It's it's a very um emotional and physical trying time when you go through that process. And so, yeah, I feel like I believe in marriage, and there is a part of me that. I believe that, you know, kids should be raised in a home where they do have two parents to an extent. But if that means that both the parents are toxic to each other or, you know, if there's some kind of issue, then no, you know. But I still, a part of me still believes that, you know, children still need both their mother and their father. But they don't necessarily have to be, like, married and together, if that makes sense. 